Well, KC International, that's the one that's buzzing in today's trading session, making fresh highs after they won an 816 crore order across various businesses. To help us understand more about that, we have Mr. Vimal Kejriwal, who is the managing director and the CEO of the company. Hi, Mr. Kejriwal, the first time we're speaking to you in this fiscal, and you have started it off in style. Yeah. Break up this 816 crores for us first, between civil, TND, as well as cables business. What's the split? It's a uh, morning, Nagel. And basically, this is almost civil. It's almost 93, 94% is civil, and very small part is cables and, and uh, TND. All right, so 93, 94% is civil, the rest is cable and TND. Um, you know, uh, if we look at uh, your order announcements and the FI24 order inflow guidance that you had given, you seem to have fallen a little short. Could that be because some of the orders have spilled into FI25? Um, what's your FI25 order inflow target? So, Manglam, you're right. We had talked about uh, 20,000 earlier than we had said 18 to 20. Fortunately, at least we have crossed the lower level. We have reached 18,100. We have roughly around 5,000 crores in L1. A couple of them have got hit by the election code of conduct. So they are with uh, PGSL and other people, which we were hoping that they will be released uh, before the election, but it's not been released. So that, that's the, the slight setback. But I think we are okay otherwise. For next year, we are talking about around 25,000 crores of uh, order intake. Okay. All right. Uh, Mr. Kejriwal, you know, one of the reasons that you have also, you know, your inflow is only 18,000 crores in comparison to 20,000 crores is because you were making this point that you want to be selective and you want to focus yeah. on profitability as well. You know, that's the analyst community has understood that well. So, you know, what is the margins on this 18,000 crores approximately? And also, you know, we have been covering for the last few days, aluminium prices, copper prices, all of them, they are off the blocks in style. That could hurt your business. What is the margin outlook should we be working with for FY25? And is that at risk? So, Nigel, you, you are right. We have become very selective in our order intake, minimum sizes, cash flows. I think we had a couple of bad years earlier, so we became very careful on that. So that's one of the major reasons why we are at 18, not at 2022. Uh, as far as the middle prices are concerned, as of now, it's not hurting us because all the current orders and et cetera are, are fully hedged. Okay, where, where it can hurt is, you know, an industry like cable and all that, where with the copper prices, aluminum prices going up. Sometimes we see a scale down of, uh, you know, ordering, et cetera, by some of the user industries, they would like to wait. But I think it's the prices have been very volatile. I don't see any any significant impact uh, anywhere. In fact, what happens is the other way around is uh, in the newer orders, if the prices are higher, your, your values go up and your order sizes and everything goes up. And typically, since we are at a margin percentage of the value, uh, the, mm -hmm. the margins can also actually go up in absolute terms. Okay. So, so, so you're basically you're telling us that this commodity price increase is not a risk to your uh, profit profile, uh, as the way you see it. Then give us a guidance on margins for the coming year. And by when do you go back to 9% margins? So uh, margins for next year, we have just been talking about between 7.5 to 8. Hmm. And we have said that FI26, we should be between 9 to 10. All right, 9 to 10 for FI26 with 75 to 8%. You haven't changed much uh, from what you had earlier said as well. In the fourth quarter as well, you said you would do margins of yeah. close to around 7% uh, with the annual revenue growth of 15% in FI24. I just wanted some granularity on, you know, your non-TND business or, uh, or rather uh, your non-civil business. Railways, what's your outlook for the next year? Cables and also the EV charging cable uh, that you're talking about, how are they likely to grow in the next couple of years? So cables is doing very well. We we, we do think that next year cables will do still better. And one of the reasons why we are saying that is we have also started working on our uh, aluminum conductor facility, which will get up by quarter two. So that will add, you know, on an annual basis, almost 600 crores of revenue. So cables will do well. EV charging is still on. To me, the cable part is still in, in its infancy. So I, I don't see it growing uh, uh, too much. Railways has been a bit of a disappointment in terms of the of our line of business, where we are more on infrastructure, building new lines, electrification, and the government emphasis was more on you know uh, 
uh, Vande Bharat trains and station redevelopment. So I think the our view internally is that post elections, I think the government will change tracks and start spending more on infrastructure. So we do think that uh, the uh, uh, we'll see a lot more tenders on railway infrastructure, railway safety, etc. coming up. So hopefully by Q3, Q4, our railway order book uh, should start building up significantly. Okay, all right. Um, Mr. Kejriwal, you know, we'll talk in further detail when we, your numbers are out, your quarterly numbers are out. But I recall you telling us that I think the net debt number will reduce by roughly around, I think, 500 crores uh, in quarter four. Has that happened? And your net working capital days as well, you were guiding for 15 to 20 days improvement. Has that happened also? So I don't want to talk too much about FI24, but I think we are, I can only say that we are on track uh, on our debt numbers. Okay. And what about for the coming year? Uh, so let's not talk about FI24. FI25 give us the guidance, right? On both debt as well as net working capital days. So FI25, we don't expect the absolute debt to go down because what will happen is that we are talking about a 15% growth in revenue. So we mm. will need to borrow borrow more for to fund the the extra fifteen, let's say almost three thousand crores of revenue. But we expect that the absolute debt will remain well, and also interest as a percentage of our debt will come down by mm. at least fifty basis fifty basis points on account of our working capital improvement. And hopefully, if RBI does something and the rates start coming down, then that could be an additional uh, reduction in our interest cost. All right. The working capital days you're going to give us. Uh, we should be between 100 to 110. Okay, 100 to 110. We'll take that and speak to you in more granularity in a lot more detail after your fourth quarter numbers as well. Thank you so much for joining in. From what we have so far, 15% revenue growth of the next year, 75 to 8% margins with them moving to 9 to 10% in FY26, 25,000 crore worth order inflow and an improvement in working capital days to about 100 to 110. That's KC International, stock up 13%. With that, we are out of time on this edition of Chartbusters. Thank you so much for watching. From Nigel, me, the entire team, uh, stay tuned. Trading outcome.